Okay. A teen lifeguard. Unsolved murder. New clues. Decades later, after 16-year-old Molly Bish disappeared from her summer job in 2000, her family may finally be getting the resu the, le the resolution they have sought for many more than 20 years. Snatched away. This page authorizes help by volunteers coming pond and the surrounding woods near Water Mass in what was then the largest search operation in the state history. Molly Bish is a high school yearbook photo. Okay. Hi. Adapt her perch on the worn wooden lifeguard chair at Commons Pond in Walrus Miss Molly Bish could see kids splashing in the water, diving under the surface and building sandcastles on the tree shade beach. The fun loving athletic high school honor student was excited to be lifeguarding at the popular swimming spot, following in the footsteps of her older brother John. Then twenty who had been a guard there for years before her. When he learned a different summer job, 16-year-old Molly jumped at the chance to step in, even though her mom, Maggie, Mag, Madge, M-A-G-I, was apprehensive about her daughter taking the post at the scheduled pond. Scheduled pond. She reassured me and remind, remembers. She said, Mom, I'm not worried. What Molly couldn't see as she watched over the pond was the evil lurking in the woods around her. On the morning of June 27, 2000, only her eighth day on her off for her shift. Oh, on her eighth day, the wood mm, the job. Molly vanished from the commons pond just minutes after her mom dropped her off from her off for her shift. Despite the largest search undertaken in Massachusetts at the time, it would take three years for authorities to find her remains. Now, after more than two decades, the Bishers may finally get some long-awaited 
answers in Molly's murder in t on twen on June twenty. Uh, okay. <sighs> Answer in Molly's murder on June third, twenty twenty one, weeks before the twenty first anniversary of the young woman's disappearance. Police announced they have had identified Frankus Frank Summer S R a con convicted uh, rapist and kidnapper is a credible suspect based on information received months earlier in the case, which they never stopped investigating. We have grown confident in the tip, says Worcester County District Attorney Joseph Earl Jr. While he's optimistic about this latest development, he knows justice may never truly be served. Summer died in 2016 at 71. Stuart early hopes to give Brish family a measure of relief. What the family really wants is Molly back, he says. The thing they wanted, I can't give them. It was about 9.55 a.m. on June 27, 2000 when M dropped Molly off at the beach. At one thirty was like, something she was really wrong. A heart and initial initial local call from the town that Molly might chief have some telling that Molly had been to go at work for her around ten. But it soon became clear there was something when mother more brings the kids for morning swim lessons called As soon as the state police was no came on duty, they started knowing Molly had never had an abduction or a homicide her post like unless there was happened to the squirrel. Had there been a rush to the park driving? I was including Molly desperately yelling Molly, Molly, Molly. She says, Brother John M. Dove into the pond in the musky water, trying to get a lifeboat chair along with her shoes. Volunteers and police in with search dogs combined raced down her skull, find the surrounding Why would she leave forest. without her shoes? Molly's older sister, theorizing that whatever had watched had normal, a, um, whoever had abducted Molly had been watching her man to behind her life while the chief hidden in the woods. With increasing it's a perfect plan, like someone my stomach dropped. Says Heather, and I was like, her. something's really wrong. It would take three years <coughs> and hundreds of fruitfulest tips before a local hunter mentioned to a friend that he's seen a blue bathing suit in the woods on Whiskey Hill, approximately three miles from Commons Pond. The friend contacted police on June 9, 2003. Molly's remains were located. There's no understanding of it, says M. It just really doesn't make sense. Haunted by the several hours wasted when authorities thought Molly had simply run away. M, 69, now a retired special education teacher and her husband John, 72. A retired probation officer spent the years after Molly's death channeling their pain into helping other families in uh, thousands. Oh, they partnered with the New York Center Tech because this is just spring in the world in Massachusetts and worked to launch the state's mission <laughs> it's not my Children's Day. The world. They also started the Molly oh, British Brish Foundation. And this green yard is actually a dollar <laughs> store. To raise yeah, awareness about weird. children and objection and like have described more than the same color seven hundred and fifty thousand free some ID dollar stores to have them to help find not. their children should they ever I go know. missing. Molly in her Probably. own way has a legacy like no one would Both have ever thought, says M that made my heart beat. Since to one to nineteen, Heather Bish has also been working with the state legislature on a bill that would let Massachusetts join states in allowing law enforcement to use from familiar DNA search in the investigation of violent cold cases. You know what? I just thought of a good idea. And Golden the Bull led this. Like a definitely raises the game in a so, because I don't from have now one. the British are hopeful about the break in the key. The trash can in now June twenty twenty one, the house <laughs> sister the deceased Cute suspect ish. Frank Summer told at the least Boston Globe like. that the family had demanded the Westchester no, DA release the evidence allowing 
linking Summer to British murder Yay for when Randy. contacted by people. Spokeswoman Lindsay Boo for this said the DA office this had no comment about the request, but nothing yeah. has changed Ugh. in the it's investigation. Summer remains and like a said, person I'm of not interest, a professional and we are receiving writer. tips from the public so regarding the actions during that shade. period. That you got same month, a story like, met with Heather to discuss the new like, suspects kind of as she get? returned one of Molly's like belongings. And investigations took during the initial investigation. Among the items were Molly's purse, sunglasses, and prom I invitations, all bringing back memories of a sister who never made it past the age of 16. In the bags of belongings, Heather also found a soundtrack case. And I will be Cassette tape for the animation movie I and an American day. Tale out there, I and she loved that song. Heather says, no, when that comes back, I thought, oh, it's forget. a little sign from my sister. If you have any information about this case or Frank Summers Jr., contact the anonymous Molly Brish tip line at 508-453-7500. Enjoying life, left athletic, athletic and smart Molly in 2000 had the smile in her eyes. She was special, says her mom and sister Heather left and Molly in 1997, weeks before she vanished. Molly with boyfriend Steve Lurk danced at her junior prom. New suspect, below left police sketch of a man seen near the schedule pond the day before Molly disappeared below. A recent tip led police to Frank Summers Sr., a convicted rapist and killer. <sighs> Faded Hope. Above a sign honoring Molly still stands in the family yard below. It doesn't seem real, says Fisher's mom, M. Center with husband John and daughter Heather appearing before reporters in 2000. Day after Molly's remains were found. Still missing Molly, June 27, 2000. Hope has like a little heart. Stones are decorated. It is so sad and so sweet and so everything. And I don't mean any disrespect or harm when I talk about these cases. Just kind of like a long, awkward silence, but it feels like there's it's not as vibrant as the other Fraser ones, but you get to see like almost like really vibrant colors because they're down in color as opposed to like bright and regular silence, regular orange or gold Check out my podcast, Gummy Bear 
I always wanted to visit LA, you know, I would love to be an actress, I know it's kind of really weird to say now, this is Golden Boulevard, and this is Normal love, and just a normal guy, and they do. Ooh, 